everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, thanks for clicking. I hope you enjoy your stay. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Today, we're staying in the mutant universe. And I'm actually gonna sculpt a character that my brother came up with for it. So thank you, Andrew. He didn't want to be in the video or anything, but I thought I'd just put his phone number up on the screen really quick. So you can all give him a call if you want. <laughs> so anyway, the character is another good guy, but he's completely different than the other two good guys I've already made. His name is Mr. Smile and he's really weird and he's very different from anything that I've done before and I absolutely love that about him. I also love that he came from someone else's brain and it wasn't me that thought him up. It was really nice to get a fresh perspective on this universe and I think my brother did a great job. So thanks again, Andrew. He also helped with his backstory a little bit that I will be sharing with you throughout this entire video. So be sure to watch the whole thing so you don't miss any details. And then without further ado, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ace of Clay. I would love to see you there. Now let's get started on Mr. Smile. All right, let's get started. I've got my wooden plaque here, of course, with the two holes drilled to fit my armature wire. I'm using this aluminum wire here. And then we're gonna start shaping out the legs and torso. And as always, all of the materials and tools that I use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you wanna purchase anything. All right, there we go, we've got his armature figured out. Now I'm just going to bulk out the torso with some aluminum foil. Now I'm just going to secure that aluminum foil with some painter's tape. You can also use masking tape. For this project, I'm using Super Sculpey Original. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and shape out the pants a little bit better. Um, pilot pants from back in the day are kind of like baggy up here. So we're gonna go ahead and add some extra fabric there and then we'll go ahead and do the boots. Mr. Smile, real name Cortland Fletcher, is an airplane pilot who was in a plane crash that twisted his neck, tragically leaving his head upside down on his shoulders. He wears a leather aviator helmet and goggles on his upside down chin, giving the appearance of his face being right side up with a large smile, hence his name, when in fact, he's actually frowning. 
He is dressed in full 1930s pilot gear, complete with leather jacket with fur, scarf, gloves, pants, and tall black boots. Now that the body looks good, let's go ahead and work on the arms and then we'll come back and do the fur. All right, now that we got the first arm done, let's go ahead and do the other one off camera. Be right back. All right, now that both of those arms are on, we're gonna go ahead and make the hands. All right, let's take a quick break from today's video to talk a little bit about our sponsor. These days, it feels like online shopping is the only shopping we really do. And that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's the free online shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. It is the number one shopping tool in America and Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. So here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out on one of your favorite websites, Honey pops up and you just have to click apply coupons. Then wait a few seconds while Honey tests the codes it can find. And if Honey finds a working code, you'll watch the prices drop. Not gonna lie, just recently I bought some clay from Michaels and Honey saved me a good like $18. So take it from me, if you got a computer, Honey should be on it. And you all know that I would never recommend something that I don't actually use. So get Honey for free by going to joinhoney.com slash aceofclay. That's joinhoney.com slash aceofclay so they know I sent you. Thanks Honey for sponsoring today's video. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Mr. Smile travels between the human and first dark realms of the universe. He has never visited the third. He is a good character, but does tend to put himself first in certain situations. He talks with a shaky voice and has trouble walking in a straight line. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a scarf using cosplay. Alright, now for the scarf, I am going to reinforce it with some wire just because the cosplay will droop in the oven and I want it to be kind of blowing off to the side here. Just make it a little more dynamic. And to do that, I'm just going to use this really thin wire. And there we go, we've got the armature for the scarf. I really like how it's all like jaggedy and crooked like that. So now I'm going to roll some cos clay through my pasta maker and get it nice and flat and then we're going to stick it to the wire. Add a little bit of bacon bond to that wire so that the clay sticks nice. And then yes, you can use all of Sculpey's accessory products with cos clay. All 
right, there we go. His body is completely done. Now let's go ahead and start his head and it seems like we're gonna get this guy completed in one bake. If you ever wanted to see my dog, there he is, that's Enzo. Say hi, Enzo. Say hi. All right, there we go, he looks pretty good. Gonna go ahead and bake him and I'll be right back. All right, now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to finish him off. We're gonna give him his aviator helmet and then some goggles and then we'll bake him one more time then we'll come back and paint. All right, now that that cap or helmet is good to go, I've painted the backs of these flat-backed cabochons and I'm going to use them as the lenses on the goggles that we're gonna attach. So go ahead and make the frames for the goggles and then we're just going to push those cabochons right onto them. Mr. Smile doesn't have a family, as his fiancée left him after the crash that disfigured him. He spends his days wandering the world, searching for peace, and maintains a pessimistic mindset. He is a secondary character that assists the main protagonist of the story, yet to be revealed, as they travel the three realms together. All right, there we go, Mr. Smile is done. We're gonna throw him in the oven, bake him, and then come back and finish him off with some paint. Be right back. And now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'm using in this video are Folk Art Brand Matte Acrylics.
right now I'm gonna darken that gray color a little bit and water it down and we're going to add a dark gray wash over all the skin just to add a little more dimension you know the drill And he's done! Mr. Smile is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. I think he turned out really cool. I'm not gonna lie, when my brother sent me the picture that he drew of him and the little idea, I was pretty excited because one, I didn't have to come up with the character this week, and two, he was actually pretty neat. Like, I think he's got a cool, creepy little story and I can totally see him being a good guy that's just kind of like wobbly and just unsure of everything and himself. So I'm really glad that I made him. I think he turned out cool. And I, of course, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And then as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.